Our number system is based on 10, which makes multiplying by 10, 100, or 1,000 really easy. If you have a look at the 10 times table in front of you, what you'll notice is that when you multiply by 10, really what happens is that the number just moves up in terms of its place value. Let me show you what I mean. If you take 5, which is units, and you multiply it by 10, the 5 moves over to become 50. If you take 7 and you multiply it by 10, the 7 moves over to become a 70. With whole numbers, the easiest way to do this multiplying by 10 and moving things over is simply to add a 0 onto the end. This means it's very easy for us to do any multi multiplying by 10. So if we take 54 and we multiply it by 10, the easiest way to do that is just to put a 0 on the end, which moves everything over to become 540. Or if you take 230 and you multiply it by 10, we can just put a 0 on the end, which moves everything over and it becomes 2300. And this makes multiplying by 100 really easy because 100 is just 10 times 10. So if we wanted to take our 54 and multiply it by 100, well, we've got to take 54 and multiply it by 10 and then another 10. So we'll get 5,400. Quick and easy. Two zeros here means two zeros there. And for a thousand, well, a thousand is just a ten times a ten times a ten. So if we take twenty-one and we multiply it by a thousand, we've got to put on a zero for the one ten, a zero for the next ten, and a zero for the next ten. In other words, three zeros here, three zeros here. This makes multiplying a whole number by 10, 100, 1,000, and we could even do 10,000 in a similar way very easy.